going to show how to uh, UV map uh, a shoe. So I'm going to import uh, a shoe. Let's see. I think I just downloaded it. Shoe. Don't know why I imported it when. All right, cool. All right, delete that stuff. All right, shoe's looking good. Uh, let's see what it looks like uh, when we relax it. When I hit three, uh, it looks like, wow, that looks pretty amazing. All right, so I'm gonna go back to one. The lights are going on and off in here while I'm in the DOS lab by myself. It's kind of spooky. I'm sure it's a ghost. Um, all right, so what we do, we have several parts to this. We want to keep that separate, separate, and going to kind of batch all the shoelaces together. So you can either select them one at a time or just do a real quick marquee like I did there and the shoelaces. I'm going to kind of grab them together and you, you can do them probably this one and maybe these separately. Just kind of grab them together and I'm going to mesh and group, combine, all right, and let's see, these are, uh, I'm going to combine those, okay, so we just don't have 10,000 pieces, uh, go ahead and select everything, shift, I'm holding down shift to deselect, our shoelaces and we want the eyelets uh, selected and I'm going to combine those. Mesh combine. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts. All right, so it's a lot. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff over here. It could, should be deleted. Uh, I mean, Delete by type, history. Uh, we can see all that just kind of eradicated itself. And then we're going to go modify, freeze, transformation. All right, anyways, that should be a little bit cleaner than that over here on the left, but I'm not worried about it. If I can delete that. really matter that you need to delete this. I'm just trying to clean up the, the scene. <laughs> Don't do that. All right, it should, should uh, be separate. Anyways, don't, 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 don't do whatever I just did. Just uh, parent everything where this is parented, this is parented, this is parented where these are solid, 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 and then these are uh, combined, not parented, combined. All right, the shoe looks amazing. Uh, and we'll come back and do some things real quick. All right, so we have all that, and we're gonna go File, Export All. Let's go to a dialog box, just make sure it's on OBJ, and right here, OBJ, and I'm gonna make a special folder called Shoe Shoe. Uh, Shoe, shoe, there's a whole bunch of shoes everywhere. All right, and we're gonna uh, call this shoe. All right, and export all. All right, and we're gonna go into ZBrush. All right, ZBrush is a secret uh, sauce, so we don't have to go in and do like UV master uh, or UV mapping like we did with the dumpster. All right, so we have this and we're gonna import your shoe, your shoe shoe, OBJ, and we're gonna go desktop and shoe shoe and shoe open. And I'm gonna hit symmetrical triangles only. No idea what that means. Which contains unused vertices. All right, so don't know what that means. Eight unused 3D points. All right, let's just hope it works. Oh, snap. 
something went crazy. All right, so let's let's kill ZBrush. All right, I'm gonna do the other one. Let's, we have to go in here and clean it up. So uh, ZBrush, just want rinse and repeat. Okay, instead of triangles, we're gonna do something a little bit important, different. And if not, we may have to go in and clean this up. All right, so we're gonna do quads and triangles. All right, Whew. all right. I did not want to have to go and clean that up, uh, even though it's probably okay. All right, all right. Um, we are ready to uh, take this into do, to sub tool, and we're going to hit split. And right now, you can see it's just a shoe. It's coming as one solid object, but we want to split it up. So we're going to uh, scroll down here, or try to scroll down. And we're going to uh, split, and we're going to do something called group split. Again, that was in subtool, split, open that up, and group split. Okay. I hit OK. All right, so you can see um, that's the base of our shoe, top of our shoe. Uh, no idea what that is. Uh, that's the bottom of the shoe, so may have to go back and see what we split. Um, there's the shoelaces. There's maybe the eyelets. So we may have to kind of go in there and uh, highlight these. All right. Excellent, excellent. All right, now those are, those are the eyelets. All right, so we're just going to select that. And we're going to go to our Z plugins. EV Master. And probably don't need symmetry on. Hit unwrap. And we just want to make sure it's doing its thing. Texture map, uh, create, and from you mapping. So that looks like it's pretty even Steven. That's awesome. And we'll just keep going to our sub tool and just go down. And I have no idea what part that is. Maybe that's the front of the shoe. Just select it. There you go. You can see it uh, highlight. And we're going to go uh, unwrap. I'm not doing symmetry, and so I'm just going to do that for each one. This one I am going to do symmetry, unwrap. All right, I'm just going to keep going down. I'm not, not sure what that is. All right, maybe that's in the shoe. All right, so you may have some extra geometry. Just unwrap it for good luck. Unwrap. Uh, unwrap got symmetry on. This one I do want to kind of check to see um, the texture map, see how this one's doing. Create from UV map. Alright, there you go. So there's a little bit of some, uh, some funkiness going on there, but that's alright. Uh, so we're going to keep going, keep going. Uh, I'm getting tired, you probably can tell. Uh, let's see, keep going down here. I think you've got the shoelaces or we need to unwrap. Don't need symmetry on unwrap and whatever that is. What is that? So some of this stuff I don't know what it is. It doesn't show any polygons. But just unwrap it anyways for good luck. All right, I'm going to go down here and turn off that texture map. Uh, there we go. So, oh, I don't have it selected. Sub tool. And you can tell I'm getting tired. Uh, this guy. I'm going to turn off the texture map. All right. There we go. All right, so everything is UV mapped. Okay, so you're ready to go. So now the next thing we need to do is go high and low with this. Remember how we go high and uh, to about maybe six or seven, uh, and then low, and then we bake this out. Uh, so we're gonna go up to divide. Two, three, four, five. All right, you can 
see some wonky wonk there. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it. No one's ever going to look at the bottom of the shoe unless you want to go back in there and try to clean that up. Uh, but as you know, this is always the challenge with uh, looking at our models. We start to see uh, holes here and there. So we're going to go to the split off and geometry. Right, I'm just going to do maybe four divisions with that. I don't think you need to go too cray crazy with that. And then we'll just keep going down the road. And geometry, subtool. Just want to go through all of them. I'm not going to do everything, but I think you got the idea. I think the big thing was the UV mapping and go down to our geometry and divide all right so it's doing some little wonkiness here we can clean that up um, don't think you need to clean it up I think we just may have to hit the like the move tool to pull that down I think you're fine uh, and then we do the toe You may not even have to do this. You may scrub everything I'm, I'm doing here. Um, hopefully you're listening <laughs> to the end. Um, but just stop there. I think we're just going to, um, yeah, screw this. We're just going to keep it all low poly. And we're just going to soften the edge and uh, Maya. So uh, anyways, what you're going to do is just go through and export these out uh, one at a time. We're going to go to sub uh, tool and again, go to lower division. We're not going to bake these out. Just keep them low. I don't know what I was thinking, um, but you'll need to export each one out. You'll make a subfolder and export each one of these objects one at a time and then import them out. Um, let me do let me do a couple of them. I'm probably confusing the heck out of you. And again, I'm just probably more tired and not making sense. But uh, geometry, gonna go down a little low. So that is doing a little wonky wonk there. But that's okay. Uh, all right. So we're just gonna go to sub tool again. You're just going to export that out. I'm just going to do one or I'm just going to do two of them real quick. And then we're going to call this, uh, make a subfolder and call this UV shoe. All right. Create and then shoe. Boop. And let's do a couple other features. The bottom export uh, shoe two. So I keep going down here and gotta go down on geometry. I think this is on four. Export. Da, 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 da. Save. And just keep going down. And I'm sorry, I'm, this is confusing, but just hopefully you're watching all the way through. All right, and then there's our ringlets. And I think that's on low. Hopefully I didn't do anything on the geometry. No. All right, so we're going to export this. And let's check to see if I did the toe of the shoe. Hmm, so weird. Where is the toe? All right, export that out. All right, there's probably something I'm missing. But anyways, you're going to be going a lot slower and methodical than I am. I'm just, just kind of ripping it through. All right, so this one is bad, right? So we go to the UV editor. Uh, craptastic, right? That's not UV mapped. So I'm going to pull this over, and we're going to delete it. Uh, probably going to do a whole new scene, actually. Let's just start fresh. All right, so we're going to import uh, one at a time uh, your shoe, shoe, shoe and UV, and I'm just gonna, you just have to do them one at a time, and we hit F, there is your thing, perfectly UV map now, and just keep importing, 
All right. Uh, BMP. I don't know why it's doing that. All right. Just do OBJs. Nothing else. There's your eyelets. And import. Probably using the wrong term. Shoe. Okay. Shoelaces. And can make sure you label them instead of doing what I did. I just did a bad, just, just kind of forcing them in. And then import. And shoo shoo. I think that's it. All right, so you do have a gap here, and I'm not sure if that was caused by me not exporting out something, but uh, you know, just go right click and. All right, anyways, the, the, the purpose of this was to show that the UV mapping is solid all the way through. And you may want to go in there and try to close these gaps. Uh, you can just hit W and V and snap it. Just close it a little bit, a little bit too gappy. If you wanted gappy there, I think I told you to do that, but uh, you're supposed to kind of pull it in and out, but I would just kind of close it in like that for now and you can clean that up really quickly. And anyways, I'm gonna let you do that. All right, and the last thing that you need to do is I would just go in here and edge marquee and soften these edges. We've done this before, soften edge. Okay, makes it look really beautiful. It doesn't look so polygonal. Just kind of rinse and repeat all over the place. Hit, let's hit G and right click edge. Just do a marquee everything and hit G. Hopefully it's softening up the edge. All right, and just like that, uh, we've got some pretty sick looking shoes. Edge, hit G. Let's see if that softened it. Boom, there you go. All right, so the last thing that you need to do before you uh, export this out as uh, OBJ or FBX, I'm going to save this just in case, uh, just in case you need it. Um, shoe, and let's go shoe shoe. All right. And so one of the things that you need to do at the very end is rendering and remember how we go into assign new materials and make sure you call, uh, call this whatever material this is. Go to Lambert, there's a lot of crap up here, and call that a shoelace. Okay, so when you go into uh, Substance Painter, that you know what this is. This is a canvas, so you would add uh, another uh, new material, Lambert, and we would call this uh, the canvas of the shoe. I can't even spell right now. All right, rubber sole, the toe, uh, the eyelets, and blah, blah, blah. Once you get that all, make sure you save uh, that file, and then you'll export all the, um, the whole thing as an OBJ and then bring it into uh, Substance Painter. Or you export as FBX. Either way, uh, watch the, the dumpster tutorial on how you export those uh, multiple textures. All right, hopefully that will help you I know this is probably a long tutorial. Um, good luck, and again, try to take care of those gaps there. All right, good luck.